Welcome to some modern black metal bands ranked. Meta tier list here from least favorite to favorite, like we always do. I'm gonna rank some fucking newer bands. So this is like from 2000s onwards. If it's formed from the 2000s onwards, but I'm a kind of, you know, Questy's a bit of an idiot. So if any of these weren't, then you know, shout at me in the comments, and I'll, I'll be sure to ignore them. Um, <laughs> so this is the yeah from the first album the debut has to be. 2000s onwards, no no classic bands, no mayhem, no dark throw, no burzum, no none of the good shit, you know. <laughs> we we're getting for the modern shit. But there is some good stuff, so let's dive in, let's dig in, and let's have some fucking fun. So before I do, look at these beautiful artworks and bands. Let me know out of these how you would rank them, what do you think about them, and yada 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 yada. So, least favorite. We've got to pick out a least favorite first. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Uh, there's a couple that are jumping out at me. There's a couple that are jumping out at me. The one I see is Liturgy. That rhymed. Hey, hey. Liturgy is my least favorite band out of here. A bit pretentious. A bit just bad. I don't like the music that much. Um, it's, it's, it's easily my least favorite. Um, nothing to do with fucking trans or anything like that, you pieces of shit. <laughs> it's to do with the music. I don't like the music. And that's all there is to it. I'm not a big fan. If I was going to pick out the worst black male band, it'd probably be Liturgy or another one that we'll get to. But yeah, least favorite, Liturgy. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. I don't give a shit about the controversy. So next up into D tier, we're going to go with Sunbather by Death Heaven. I like Death Heaven. Um, I don't hate them. Some people hate them. I know Satanic fucking hates them. I don't mind them, because uh, I like I like shoe gaze, po uh, black gaze and stuff like that. Harakiri for Sky, I think, is better. Alcest, which is on here, is way better, in my opinion. So th there's a kind of like a little hatred for me with Death Heaven, because they became so popular and big and well, mainstream, I guess. Even like PewDiePie and shit was like playing some baby, but for me... Alcest was always just the better band, and I love them so much, I've got the fucking vinyls on the wall, um, so that kind of, I'm like, harbour a resentment for fucking Death Heaven, but the music's fine, I don't hate it, um, I don't dislike it as much as Liturgy, but it's still not great, so it's D tier. Is there anything else gonna go in D tier? I think I will. I think I'm gonna throw Karak Angren in D tier as well. Top of D tier, I like him more than, um, I like them more than Death Heaven, slightly. They are very overblown, very theatrical, very strange. And at one point, you know, recently I would have had them in least favorite. But Jamie made me listen to some of the albums, and um, kind of growing on me ish. I don't think they're as good as Cradle and Dimu for a symphonic or Emperor for that matter, or Diabolical Masquerade or any of those shits. But they're okay. They kind of grow on me. They're fun. They're goofy. They're stupid. D tier, it's fine, it's fine, they're growing on me, anything else going to go into D tier, hum, how many, how many, hum, I think, is that going to be it, ooh baby, ooh baby, when you talk like that, you may quest to go fat, yeah, okay, that's it, that's it, next up in C tier is Imperial Triumphant, they do something new, they do something unique, it's very avant-garde, very weird, very death spell, almost, kind of death spellish but in their own way too it's a bit too much a bit too abrasive i am getting more into them now but they're not my favorite i'm not gonna throw them on i just think they're pretty good i think they're better than these bands nothing special uh just pretty you know i'm it's hard this is a band which is hard to um digest it's kind of like gorguts um obscura i fucking hated that for so fucking long eventually it clicked Kind of, but I'm still not going to play it over Considered Dead or Erosion of Sanity. Like, I, I know, it's it's a weird one. Sometimes when bands are too out there and too avant-garde, it kind of throws me off. I kind of want to go strip back to cavemen times and just have, like, rocks and sticks. Just like, ding, ding, ding. Or, or, ro, ro. That's, I'd rather go back to that kind of times. <laughs> Which is, makes sense, because my favourite death albums are, like, Scream Bloody Gore and Leprosy. But yeah, it's cool. It's growing on me. C tier, pretty good. Fen's another C tier band. Um, it, it's it's good. It's fine. It's interesting. It's just not. I don't know. It doesn't captivate as me as much as the others. It is in the atmospheric kind of zone, which I do love. So I would put them a bit higher. 
But it's not one I'd jump out at me and be like, I need to listen to them right now. Because usually it's going to be... Well, we'll get we'll get to some, actually. We'll get to some atmospheric stuff in a minute, because there's some over here which I can see. Also in C, I'm going to put Kralis, which I do like a bit more as well. I think I like him a bit more than Fen as well, so he's going to go to the top of C. A bit more interesting. Um, again, on that kind of more atmospheric kind of side of things, but... Oh, do I like him more than Fen? Oh, this is fucking hard. I don't know. They're about equal, but I'll, I'll throw it there for now. Oh, no, no, fuck it. Fen's a bit better. Slightly. But Kralis still has some good stuff, still, still some good albums that are still releasing today. That's why this is a modern black metal tier list, but it's not my favourite. Again, it's not something I would pick out, out over some of these others, like Winterfell, if, for example. So yeah, anything else going to go into C as I move forward? Oh shit, Panopticon. Ooh, where are they going to go? Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Ah, yeah, they're going top of C. Panopticon's going to the top of C. People are like, what the fuck, Questy? You're going fucking mad. I like Panopticon. Some of Panopticon's albums Real goddamn good. Like, Autumn Eternal. Holy shit. Some shit like that. Fucking fantastic. The newest one's pretty good. Um, but then some of the others, like Kentucky, I'm just not a big fan of. Just not a big fan of the bluegrass style. Um, and I'm not a big fan of some of the lighter stuff they've done as well. I just feel like... I don't know. It feels like I'm putting all like the lefty bands <laughs> at the bottom. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, well, Peste Noir's not at the bottom, um, <laughs> I wonder what side quest he's on, left or right, I'm on no one's side, because no one's on my side, but yeah, Panopticon music wise, they're the best of C, almost B, but some of the songs I really, some of the albums I just really dislike, so C fucking tier, now I'm going to move on to B, because the rest of these, fucking killer, so this is going to be hard to find out what's going here next, ooh boy, yeah, this is going to be hard. i got B, A, and S. These are all good. I'm going to put Uada. <laughs> U-A-D-A. Here. Great band. Great melodic band. Huds and everything. Kind of reminded me of Migwa. Some people say it's a second-rate Migwa. I like the melodies in them. I do like the melodies in them. I think they kind of stand on their own. Their albums are great. If you take away the fact that they sound like Migwa, then... Fuck it, they're a great band. In my opinion, I'll I'll defend them. I'll listen to them over some of these. I'd rather listen to them than Imperial Triumphant or Death Heaven. Just would. I think the music's better. Uh, I think I think the albums as a whole are better. So yeah, fuck it. B tier. I think Aranzi Pazuzu is going to go here as well, a bit higher. I like the spacey stuff. It's Questy likes his spacey stuff, not the fucking child toucher spacey. But actually, he's pretty good as well. I love his movies. Fucking seven. Come on. Usual suspects. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. The newest one was really weird and really out there, but I love um, the Spaceman one. Mestastis Kaskine? Whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. The one with the Spaceman on the cover. A lot of good albums. Seen them live as well. Really spacey. Really interesting. And just hallucinogenic is a good word. Cool band. Really like them. But not one I'm going to pick over some of these others. Next up, Wolves in the Throne Room, which I'm probably going to put... Ooh, do I like it more than Aranzi Pazuzu? I don't think I do. I'll put it here, middle of B. Seen them live as well. They're good, atmospheric as fuck. I'd rather listen to Wolves in the Throne Room than Panopticon. That's probably a bit of a hot take, I don't know. Two Hunters, masterpiece. They bring it live as well. I love the atmosphere. I love the latest album as well. The latest album was fan-fucking-tastic. I love my atmosphere. Ferric Black Metal and Wolves in the Throne Room do it really well. So, gotta give them credit. B tier for sure. Now, is anything else going to go in B tier? Because can't just throw everything into fucking A and S. Or can we? I think... Mm -hmm. I love all these albums and these bands, man. Yeah, I, I like fucking... I need another one in B. I need another one in B. Ooh, what's it going to be? This is paining me to try and find something to throw into B. Because I like I like all these fucking bands. I, I don't know if I can do it. I don't, This is actually paining me to pick one out of these other bands. Because I think they're all fucking fantastic. 
but I have to rank them. So I'm probably going to go, oh, ASCII, top of B. I love you. Great. Um, if I had a B plus, I'd throw you in there. Great screams. Holy shit. I can't remember. I think they're from Denmark. I'm probably completely wrong. It's something like that. But the screams are so fucking fantastic. This album, Off the Yagdrama McDoid, something like that. Beautiful album. The first album as well. Fan fucking tastic. The EP they did, I think, recently. Really good. They they are forced to be reckoned with. Easily my favourite B. Fucking easily. I want to listen to everything they've ever done. <laughs> great band. Great vocals. Fucking top of B. Easy. A tier. Imperium Decadence. German. Atmospheric Black. Holy shit. This is an underrated band. Underrated as fuck. Some of the albums they've got just seep into your soul and they're just the greatest thing ever. Since sliced bread. Love them. Definitely need to do a ranking for them. It's going to be hard, though, because every album they've done is a killer. And I, I, I adore them. Next up, Stormkeep, uh, which I'll probably put here. Yeah, these are ordered, by the way. Tales of Other Time was one of my favourite albums of, like, last year. It's such a whimsical, fantastical black metal band. Like, they have two albums, I think. It feels like you're, like, in a medieval land. There's dragons, there's wizards. It's just epic out there, just fantastical as fuck. And I love them, and the... The logo, holy shit, the logo is beautiful. Amazing band. Let's throw some, what's next going to be here? I'm going to put Esoc Trillium here as well. And I'll probably put Esoc Trillium top. Will I? I like Imperium Decadence. Probably mid then, mid A. Cosmic, strange, the vocals are unlike anything you've ever heard. I mean, I've got a fucking one of the albums right here I can actually show. Dive Requiem, this was my favourite album of last year, Dive Requiem for the Serpent Telepath. Weird melody, strange avant-garde, just... And it, and it's in a way which is different to Imperial Triumphant and some of these others. It's in a more disgusting, disgusting, like an alien singing to you way. The melodies, the riffs, it has it all. Beautiful band. Fucking, fucking love it. Right, what's next? I think... Mm, Spectral Wounds is going to be here. Going to be there. Going to be there. Spectral Wound is just such... They only got two albums, but such just a riffy, intense, but catchy-ass black metal band. Like, every song is just catchy, sing-alongable goodness. Sing-alongable goodness is what it is. Fast as fuck, Frigid and Spellbound is going to be in your head the entire fucking day you've heard it. Go listen to that. Stop what you're doing, stop this fucking Questy video, and go what, listen to Frigid and Spellbound. Do it. Questy says. Questy says, your mother will die in her sleep. <laughs> oh, you get some voodoo magic on you. Okay, we need some more in A. We need at least one more in A, okay? We're going to weed out, weed out the weakest link. And I think, for me... It's going to be Migwa. I love Migwa. They are the top of A. Exercise in the Futility. Holy shit, balls. What a fantastic fucking album. Um, Age of Excuse was pretty good. Groza, like, they're so good. Some people say they're overrated. Sure, they're popular. They're pretty popular. But that doesn't mean bad. That means they're good. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, I love them. The melodies, the tone of it, the mood. Migwa has it all. Migua is just... It's a Migua! Um, it's like a Gua from Morrowind. You just want to ride it. That's literally what I was going to say. I don't... <laughs> I want to play Morrowind, okay? Right, to, moving on to S. Let's talk about Winterfell if UK Atmospheric Black. Another band I've seen, and they were just... They killed it. Holy shit. Every album they've done, fan-fucking-tastic. Like, it's, it's like Panopticon, except better. <laughs> For me, anyway. Like, I love Winterfell. If easily one of my favourite. The Reckoning Dawn as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, boy. Makes you just want to come everywhere. That's how good it is. Winterfell are full of cum. I love it. Yeah, I, I, I need to listen to... I need to do a ranking of them. I need to do a ranking. That's that's it. Most of these bands I need to do a ranking of. It makes me want to go through all the discographies again, talking about them. Winterfell of S tier. Fucking easy peasy. Lemon. Squeezy. Next up, Spectral Law is going to go here. You know I like my Spectral Law 
the the, the album free this one holy shit sentinel as well cosmic atmospheric black metal like in the vastness of space no one can hear you scream no one can hear you cream in the vastness of space amazing and the splits with mercognitum which is also here also fucking fantastic um yeah what can i say i love them let's talk about what's gonna be top this is hard actually fuck me this is hard (laughs) oh boy oh boy okay we'll we'll leave mercognitum for a second let's first talk about aquilus which is going straight to the top of s aquilus is atmospheric black, but it's more on the classical, beautiful side of things. Um, they it, It's kind of Opeth-like, mixed with classical, mixed with black metal, and if that sounds crazy to you, it is. And the album from last year, Bellus One, it's got to be my favourite album of last year. I know I said Essel Trillium was, but Bellus One I've been listening to way more. Adore it. The mood in it is fucking... It's so good. It's palpable. You know, the sadness is palpable. I love it. It's it's melancholic. It's beautiful. It's Aquilus. Some of the best of all time. Uh oh. KPN? KPN Peste Noir? They're going high. They're going, mm, I'll probably put them there. Some people may be like, what? It should be higher. But Spectral Lore and Aquilus, they're just. Hits different. But if you talk about raw brutality and just crazy screaming and fucking just insaneness, Peste has you covered. They have amazing albums. Let me rank them soon as well. Not just this album. You know, the self-titled fucking ballad. Come on, they have so many good albums. Crazy screaming, some of the best they've ever in black metal. The melodies, the mood, the folkiness, just the the fucking... The do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. It's it's good. It's good. Uh, Now is the hard part. Favourite time. Do I pick Mare or do I pick Alcest? I love them both. I love them both. It's maybe a bit weird... Having Al says this high and uh, Death Heaven this low, but you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. Mm, I'm gonna go with. Oh, this is hard. Fuck me. Fuck me with a fucking tire iron. I'm gonna do it. Okay, Al says is top of S. Al says is top of S. I love them. One of the bands that got me into black metal alongside like Cradle and some other stuff. Love everything, love everything they've done. Kudama's a fucking masterpiece. Um, Ikali de Lune's just fucking phenomenal. Seen them live last month, and it got, I got goosebumps from seeing them. Nija's a, a god. Nija's a god. His vocals are just the best. In, out of all these, his is the best, in my opinion. Um, but there's another band that's overtaken it for me. That's Megagnetum. As soon as Solar Paroxysm came out, I was like, holy shit, this hits on another level. And they already had bangers like Phobos Monolith. Phobos fucking Monolith. Extra conscious lucidity. It was, Hey, is that es- esoteric or is that... Why does that sound like an esoteric album? I don't know. Anyway, amazing albums from start to finish. The Splits as well. Wanderers of Strolly to Nine is one of the best black metal albums ever fucking created. Ever created. And that's a mixture of them and Spectral Law. Holy shit, this cosmic black metal hits hard. I love it. And I can't wait to see what happens next. You know? Love it. So these this is my tier list. It's final. I'm not gonna do any fucking swapping around. Let me know what you think, how you'd rank them. Would you have it like this? Probably not, because everyone's different. Let me know down below, and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.